Thanks, Cinco. <laughs> the Cinco sleepwatching chair. Oh, God. <laughs> now I can watch my friend sleep. Thanks, Cinco. And it fucking has a thing that, like, injects him. No, that's the, that, <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's that, the movie theater the chair. The movie theater. That's the one it fucking that sprays hot but, butter on you. <laughs> Injects you with something and it fucking has a toilet, I think, in it. And it keeps uh, the one that the sleepwatching chair like shocks you and keeps your eyes yeah. open. <laughs> I fucking love that. The fucking spaghetti bear. Oh my god. There's so many good to it. What's the skin. hair one? The hair yeah, one? It's like, it's like hair f- candy and they, they, mm. they dip their hair in candy and eat it. What the fuck? Do you remember that one? No. It's like you dip your hair in this machine and it coats your hair in this candy. And oh. You to suck the candy off your each other's hair. Ew. That's <laughs> fucked. That's the, dude, hair is so gross when it's not on your body. If it's attached to me, <laughs> yeah, it's perfectly fine. fine. If it's off of you. If it's, if it's been... Okay, only if it's been on the floor and mixed with other hair. Oh and I don't God. know if it's my hair and it's dirty. <laughs> I just don't like stuff on the floor in general. So it's kind of like... I guess, yeah. I guess I don't need all these torches. Or this food. We're just gonna eat some food. It's Bro, fun. have you tried this food? Have you tried eating food? Before? Have you tried like eating? Shit's, this shit's gross. <laughs> shit's bonkers, Shit dude. Sucks. <laughs> I put Plague Doctor in the third slot because I was gonna give her her stab attack, but then I just didn't. I thought you said also, you put... is this no? What? I thought you were gonna say you put Plato on your ass. <laughs> what? A normal everyday thing. I put Play-Doh up my ass. I put a whole bag of Play-Doh up my ass. Don't even get me started on the slime. <laughs> the slime? The slime. Wait, what are we talking about? The slime? What for? do you mean? I don't remember. The slime? I'm gonna sit here the entire episode and just keep saying the slime until you remember. <laughs> I seriously don't remember. The fuck, the, your your girlfriend? Oh, the slime. Sorry, she likes slime. Yeah, guys. she likes a. Welcome to the ASMR section of the channel now. <laughs> Camera people hate that. <laughs> <laughs> she likes that stuff. Yeah, sticky white stuff. Well, she likes that too. Okay. There's a lot of you. Have you seen this man? Uh, the 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 cattails alligator. Yeah, the crocodilian. The... Is that his fucking. His name is the crocodilian. The crocodilian. Oh, these are called bull rush and cattail. There's different. Oh. oh. Do they do different things? No, they're the same. Oh. You just can't hit them. What? Dodge two hundred. I mean, they're fucking grass. Not hitting them. Hero to hit zero percent. Two hundred. So, this guy. What did he do? What's move the mouse a little bit. Oh. Um, so, he does that. And you don't want him to oh. be there, so so then you bring a character that can do this. And then, um, he's the easiest boss in the game. Oh, you just, like, slingshotted him. Oh, look, he did front. it again. Wow, I wonder what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to do. Oh, I can stun oh, him. So, oh, oh, look, okay. oh. He oh, didn't move. Oh, oh that's oh, bad. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> it's not fine. as good as you thought it would be, no, I suppose. No, it's fine. My shield breaker's gonna go. It's fine. Did I... No. I mean, what is I he gonna do him. on one no, turn? No, I can't. I can't. Oh, he's gonna teeth break. Okay, here's... You don't want him? Oh. Oh. This is bad. Well, I didn't think that... Oh, it's fine. You can still use the move. I, okay. I, I didn't think that my um, Plague Doctor was not going to stun him or move him. I thought that well, it was gonna do one of the you gotta play for the words. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. At least he dodged. <laughs> no, it's gonna be okay. I'm sure I've asked a thousand times, but you, do you get more dodge if you're in the back? More dodge if you're in the back? No. Right. no the, the rank does not do anything unless you have a specific trinket, or you're just. It just depends on what the enemy is gonna do, you know? It's okay. like. Because in the first Final Fantasy, that's how it works. It's like you're saying you're fighting a specific boss. And you know what moves he can do and where they can hit, so you put characters in specific places to counter that. See, this is what he does. If he's in the very left or very right or very front or very back, he's just going to do lurking fear most of the and time. And he just hides in the grass. To get into the middle. Yeah. If he's in the middle, he can do a move called Submerge, and he goes underwater. Oh, and then, and then he, can't he hit him? gets healed. 
and he gets dodge buff, and oh. he gets crit chance so buff, you, and he gets you a damage, I'm pretty sure. If you can't move him, then you lose, is what you're saying. Pretty much. He'll, he completely Damn. fucks your team That is bad. like hardcore trial and error. That and is mad. He, here's the thing. In the later missions, you have to fight like five of these things. Oh, okay. But in this this is the first mission of this DLC, and you just have to, he's the final boss of it. But, I mean, he's dead. Like, he's not the easiest boss in the game. That was kind of a lie. Well... If you know what but to if do, you, I But if you bring a bounty hunter, a plague doctor, a shield breaker, you're fine. As long as you give them, like, I, the only reason my... I, I just got unlucky with the plague doctor. <gasps> What'd you get? One of the best trinkets in the entire game. So is there a limited pool that you have to pull from with the trinkets? Like, you can't get the same one multiple times? Okay, so like that trinket, there's only one. Right, but if you had a chance to get a trinket would it pull from trinkets that you've already obtained or ha does it, it like just depends lower because certain trinkets are only gotten once while others can be infinite that's what i'm saying like if you've already gotten well i guess if they're infinite then that doesn't that kind of answers my question you can keep getting them you can keep getting the same trinkets oh god Oh, okay. Sometimes the traps here will spawn a whole group of enemies you have to fight. So that's fun. Oh, or, God. What were you trying to say? So, let's say you get the poop trinket. Is the poop trinket now not a part of the loot pool anymore, or can if, you get another poop trinket? If the poop trinket is a specific rarity of trinket. What? That's not that's, answering my question. <laughs> that is answering your question. Oh, I see. If, if it's a certain class. Right. Yeah, what the has, fuck is happening? It's a cutscene. So, this is the place before it got fucked over. Oh. So there's this lady. This is the She's hosting dungeon? this party, <laughs> and he's here. And they got this wine. <laughs> so, I don't know why exactly he came to this party to murder her. Because she's fucking evil. Yes. He can sense okay. that shit. Yeah, I guess he is. But he's I saw I saw someone explaining how he just he's just a murderer and he just came to kill her. But I don't think that was the case. I'm pretty sure he no, knew. He knew. So. So now, since I did that mission, by the way, since I just started it, the DLC has begun. Oh, so you can get the curse? That's what that was? I already was? have the curse. Trogdor is oh, cursed. Oh, Trogdor, no! <laughs> so here's here's the thing. So when you start the game, about, I think week two, it starts. Yeah. So this th it, this thing has, has a swarm of mosquitoes or whatever around it. Yeah. And that means the only thing it does is your characters re receive like minus 10% stress heal per week or something. But that you can beat the whole game. I usually beat the whole game before I do the DLC with that. But I've been experimenting. Like it's not that bad if you just play and you get really good trinkets and like cool stuff and it's fun. Yeah. But now he's gonna spread this disease to everyone, and the bug people are going to come to all the other dungeons and give other people disease. So if you if you put him in like the abbey to get rid of stress, but you also have like Belmundo in there. He can give the disease to Belmundo. Oh, okay. That's how you spread it. And then also, you just do any missions. So if you click L3 right here, curse-carrying insects have begun to spread. The limb station's low. There's, they're probably not going to show up. But yeah. once it gets, it's going to get the medium, they might show up. And then high, they're just every mission, you're just going to fight bugs. Oh, and they're no. going to give you the disease. I anywhere you are? Anywhere. It doesn't, Damn. except the farmstead. So is that, is that like a reason to not have the DLC activated or what? The only reason I wouldn't... This is a really good trinket. I want it, but I, I don't know if we can fight the Baron right now, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, I probably shouldn't have done it to get this trinket, but it's okay because I got... Where did it go? Oh, I got this trinket. So, hi... This is the... There's, there's sets for everybody. Everyone has two in this DLC. Yeah. Highwayman got... He's the favorite character of the devs. He's the He's the boy. He's he is the buffed. He's like the most overpowered fucking piece of shit. Is that Dismos? Dismos. Okay. He's a higher man. They gave him the best trinket set. If you combine this with the other one, it just has no downsides. 
the, the stress is meaningless because you know why if you look at the bottom it says plus 45 percent virtue chance oh so it gives him like a 90 percent chance to go virtuous so every time he gets to 100 so he, the he so the plus stress is actually a positive yeah if he gets virtuous <laughs> which he's probably going to then you just win exactly. because having a virtuous character makes the game go from I probably am not... I'm going to have to leave this dungeon to... I'm now going to completely destroy this dungeon even though I have like... Two, let's say I have two characters left. So One of them is virtuous. You can probably beat the dungeon. What does it give you? Does it give you just super buff it just, It's a random thing and you have to look on the wiki to oh, okay. see it. But they can give you... Like sometimes they just... They'll randomly say something. Heal that guy. Randomly say oh. something. Minus 30 stress. Randomly say something. So they do damage buff. an added thing on top of their turn? Yes. Oh, and they get and good. they get buffs as well. They get permanent buffs that they're, they they so don't tell you. So normally, like, just plus twenty five percent damage. Normally, that's just a random chance. That, but okay. you can make it almost. Normally, guaranteed. it's a twenty five percent chance. But that's if you get twenty five plus forty five is um, what is it seventy? Yeah. So you have a seventy. I said eighty or ninety. It's a seventy percent chance. So that's still really high. Yeah. So, and <laughs> if you get the yeah. if you get the ability, I don't, someone might have it. I forgot what it's called. But it's just a quirk it gives you plus ten percent chance. So then, then you can go to eighty percent. Damn. Oh, so luminous. You gotta, like, no, not luminous. So that. what is it called? I don't remember what it's called. I probably don't have it. But yeah, you can have an eighty percent chance. Well, next time on butthole, we're gonna talk about more percentages. <laughs> I love percentages. <laughs> oh, I love percentages. But yeah, we're, it's gonna get interesting with all the the bug people. The bug.